Okay, what's happening guys? So, uh, the cuts video today. Um, this is being filmed Thursday and I have actually, haven't actually added to the pickups that I've got since last Saturday, so nearly a week. Um, the reason why I bring this up is because I watched Jordy Slash Gamers video earlier, uh, which I'm sure that a lot of you have, um, and he raised a couple of bits and pieces, which to be fair, I'm, a I'm actually going to talk about in a future video, um, of which one of the things he was talking about buying for pickup's sake, so that he had a video, had a content, and it made me kind of think, you know, there's been a couple of comments in the past to a couple of people that have made on my videos, and yeah, I just pick up as and when. If you go back to, way to the beginning, I mean, I'm not asking you to do that because it's cringy, but in the beginning, in my first few videos, I'll basically say, you know, I'm gonna make videos as and when, it might be one or two things in the video, it might, it might be a few things I don't know, um, but it seems to be that I've, I've just got on a lucky streak, which is literally every single week I have something for a pickup. Now there might be things that I look for on eBay that I wanted to buy, whether it's a manual disc, whatever. Um, very rarely do I, ha do I have anything to add, unfortunately, like to complete a game. Um, the only thing I have been looking for, I've actually been looking today for some uh, Mega Drive um, manuals, probably about a third of this row. I don't have manuals. And I'm quite disappointed or they have manuals that are a little bit battered um, and every so, every so often I do look for the manuals for them so yeah I mean I just kind of wanted to say that I I don't do that and he's saying himself you know I'm not saying to anybody that does that you know by all means I don't have the money to do that I don't have the money to, to go out and buy pickups for the sake for pickups sake um, you know, I will buy varied things, but generally, I mean, my name is David Tyler, Game Center. Um, that's primarily what my channel is about. But there are a couple of other bits and pieces that I know that other people are interested in as well. He, uh, George Slash Gamer, he um, he gets Blu-rays and things. He gets figures. You know, that's cool. I'm interested. I'm actually interested in that, and I commented on his video um, as well today because one of the films that he got. So yeah, I just wanted to say that um, at the minute. I only have one thing coming, like a, a package of some swaps, but after that, who knows? You know, you might see some different videos from me if I don't have any pickups. But yeah, just made me think a little bit, but I think I'll, I'll probably surround that subject a little bit more, some of the things that you mentioned, because it made me think as well, uh, to be fair. And um, he's obviously gone through some stuff, and uh, I, I mean, obviously, like I said, I'm sure that pretty much all of you have watched it anyway, but Go and watch it, go and check it out, see what he said, because he had a bit of an absence. Um, it's quite interesting, really. But yeah, aside from that, let's move on to the pickups. Um, so the first one, get this one out of the way, because this is the only non-gaming related one that I've got. Um, so it's a Mickey Mouse um, light. Now this doesn't have a year on it, um, it but it, to me, it's reasonably old looking. Now in actual fact, I got it from a car boot, and I got it probably around about a month month and a half ago something like that and I did mention it in one of my previous videos but I didn't have it to hand it was I think it I think it was in the other room or something like that and it was um, the back had broken now in actual fact I gave this to my stepdad um, to basically glue it back together he's got wood glue and I didn't know where mine was so um, he says well what I'll do is in actual fact I'll I'll do a bit more for it for you so what he's actually done is he's put some um, reflective sticker and stuff on the back. Um, he cleaned it up for me and everything else. He painted over the holes that was actually made for whatever reason. Some mentalist had nailed the board and Mickey and it was just like horrible holes. So you can't even tell that he's actually painted his trousers again because uh, he actually does modeling um, and he did a really good job on it. I'm really happy with it. So it cost me a pound originally, but he's revamped it really, really well. And just in case you don't know what a light looks like, that is the light. So obviously he's done the reflection so that it is brighter basically and um, there's four holes that's already there and i'll be putting them on my wall somewhere but obviously um my room's still not sorted unfortunately i've still got shelves to get um but when i do my room tour eventually you'll be able to see it in action hopefully um so yeah that is the non-gaming related thing out of the way um this next thing um my mum <laughs> is actually part of a group that i'm in and she commented on it and basically said do you want this and she's had this um, on 
a chair when you walk into a house for however long. It is official Nintendo, little Yoshi, 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 whatever you want to say. Um, so yeah, little Yoshi plushie. So he'll be going on my shelf, probably over there somewhere. Um, and yeah, the next things are basically all the things I've got in the same day. Now I went to um, Leicester uh, shopping to a couple of shops with Gobbo's collection. Um, I'm sure, I mean, I've shouted him out before, go and check him out because he's got um, quite a study of videos going now as well. He actually got shouted out by Retro Bear um, in one of, Retro, well, in Retro Bear's most recent video, I believe it was most recent video. Um, but yeah, he actually donated to me uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Revival on the Game Boy Advance and he just gave it to me as a present for free. Um, to be fair, we have little bits and pieces that we give to each other, like, you know, the Pokemon um, things, cards, whatever that you got from McDonald's. I just gave them to him because he's into them, I'm not. Um, and yeah, he donated that to me. Um, he also got a very nice little GameCube pickup. And in that GameCube pickup was Serious Sam. Uh, it's got no manual, unfortunately. Uh, but it does have the, um, you know, the warranty booklet, whatever, consumer information. Um, it's in good condition. It looks like quite a fun little game, a bit like Duke Nukemish. Um, so I'm happy to add that to my um, ever-growing GameCube collection. I also have a PS2 game that I bought from Super Game Shack in Leicester. It's a new-ish shop. Uh, I think it's only been there for about a year. This was one pound and. I've never heard of it, it's called DNA Dark Native Apostle and I checked out the gameplay very quickly and it's by Hudson and I thought it actually looks alright and for a pound you can't go wrong, it's no manual but it's kind of like the bargain section corner type thing and I was like yeah it's a pound, let's go. So um, I, don't, I do like to add decent PS2 games, not fodder, I mean I have a large PS2 collection and I'm really I'm really aware of that and I don't I don't just want to add for adding sake um, I want to be able to actually play the stuff at some point or eventually I mean there might be I'm hoping that there's certain days where I can sit down and I have done it before where I've literally sat down and just put put a disc in played it for half an hour don't like it take it out put a disc in played it for half an hour okay I kind of like this let's play a little bit more and carried on like that and I'm hoping to do that at some point with you know PS2 PS1 whatever PS1 isn't as bad, um, I've not got as many games for that, but I mean pretty much this top half here is all the games I had as a kid and I'm not going to get rid of, or the, you know, a bit more heavy hitters, things like that, obviously Diablo, on, nicely on display there, um, but yeah, um, what else have we got, so I got um, from Alpha Gaming in Leicester, um, it was a gaming store originally and then it changed hands, it's now a gaming store again, um, I got Alien vs Predator and this was 2 99 and now this is what it seems to be the only decent um, PS3, uh, sorry, the only decent Alien vs Predator game unless you're like into PC. Um, I don't really like the PC game but this one is a first person game and I had Colonial Marines and I'm sure that obviously <laughs> If you know Colonial Marines or the story behind it, 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 it's, it is awful. I played it and I thought, I don't understand what the issue with this is, but I knew there was something wrong. I got it originally for one ninety nine, and that was brand new from Game. And I thought, why is it only one ninety nine? This is great. It's not great. It's not very good. Um, but this is, and I've seen reviews on this, and it is actually quite good. Um, for now it will quench my thirst until they eventually, hopefully, release the Capcom arcade version. If anybody knows anything about that, I've mentioned it in a previous video before, I won that game. Ever since I went to Leeds and I went to the arcade world centre, whatever you want to call it, oh, I just wanted that game again. It's really, really stressing me out. Um, but yeah, Alien vs Predator. Um, and also Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. I had the first one when it first came out and loved it and stupidly sold it. I think I needed the money or something, I don't know. Um, they only had number two, and this was 2.99. Um, and yeah, I was a bit gutted because I wanted the first one, but they had like eight copies of the second. Um, and it does have the gubbins in there. It's like an unlock code or something, for whatever it's worth. Um, 
but yeah i've not played it yet um because i want to get the first one complete that and then move on to this one so i've got an excuse for that at least um and then these last pickups quite decent actually i'm quite happy with them um i got nintendo 64 game uh, this is Shadows of the Empire Star Wars. This was from Ben. This is from Gobbo's collection. And within the bundle that he got for me, or, or rather that he got, um, he sold me Final Fight 2, Final Fight, Tiny Toons, and this. Now, as you probably noticed, these are Super Famicom games, and this is the converter. So now I have games that, especially these two, uh, games that I've wanted for a long time. Now, I didn't go out to seek them, but I, I love Final Fight, and I wouldn't, I don't think I'm gonna fork out like sort of 80 odd pound or whatever it is per game when the Famicom games are a fraction of the price. So he kindly gave these, um, I say gave them, he didn't He didn't give them to me, I, bought, I actually bought them off him, did, did a bit of a deal with him, um, and he gave them to me um, at a decent price. He gave them to me for, I believe it was 40, um, and it was 45 with Series Sam. So all of these, the Nintendo 64 game and everything else, that was 45. Um, but yeah, happy, really happy to get those because it's games that I've wanted for, for a while and now I have the converter as well. So if he didn't have the converter, I wouldn't have bothered, uh, I don't think, or vice versa. But yeah, I mean, now I have the option to get two Famicom games if I want to. So yeah, that's it for me on the um, on the pickups front. I hope today wasn't too boring. Um, I kind of spoke for a little bit longer. I mean... I think it's quite obvious I don't have a script or anything like that and a lot of the other guys don't either. I don't have any editing tricks or anything like that. Um, so yeah, um, until the next one really, um, have a nice weekend.